Hi, it's Roger here and welcome to episode one of Entrepreneur TV 2019 from Los Angeles uh, in America. Here we are, LAX, just arrived in from Columbia. We have some events this week and we are over this year going to be going through a series of videos which are all going to be around choices as an entrepreneur. Like whether you are just getting started, whether you are already a super successful serial entrepreneur, uh, every one of us has got choices we make every single day. And the choice on this video is do you choose hustle or do you choose flow? I say, what's the difference of these two things? Uh, with the events that we've got this week, one of the biggest questions that came up on some of the interviews and some of the uh, partners that we've been working with, which is there's this whole idea of hustle here in America. Uh, what's the difference of what I talk about? And of course, the biggest difference is there's a huge difference between hustle and flow. Think about a surfer. A surfer is someone who does hustle for a very small period of time, which is when they see the wave coming and they get on that board and they're paddling like crazy for a teeny amount of time to get on the wave. And then after that, they're surfing. That's when the flow kicks in. So hustle has a place, but hustle has a tiny place when it comes to the bigger picture of how you're gonna to get to your success, in my view. So think about hustle as the idea of doing what it takes to get to your success, like working real hard when others around you might not be working as hard. Um, side hustle, side hustle is the idea that like you might have a job and then you're gonna just like work super hard on the side to make a bit more money to move forward. There's a place for that for a period of time, provided you're getting on a wave. Flow is a total difference, it's not about working it's not about working uh, hard, it's about working smart. Uh, it's not about, you know, how do you, uh, like, you know, put, use all of your efforts uh, in a way that's gonna get you to success. It's how do you harness the environment around you in order to get to your success? You know, what's the wave that you're tuning into? Uh, it's not about walking the talk, which is about, like, saying, here's what I'm gonna do, and going off and doing it. Uh, it's about living the listen. You know, it's a whole different thing. It's about listening in, tuning in to what's really happening around you in such a way that you can actually be of service to those who already can see that value that you actually have. Uh, I see way too many people and they are going through life, uh, going through the hustle, and then after one year, after two years, they're still hustling. They're still paddling like crazy. And they didn't actually realize they've been swimming against the current. They've been going the wrong way and they've been actually making their life a whole lot harder than they actually had to. So like, what's the difference if you saw it in terms of an example? Let me give you an example of a couple. Uh, this is Catherine and Russell Ord. Catherine, she loves tarot card readings. She knows she's really good at it, uh, but she's always like kind of wondered, what's the best way to medium and actually make money from it? Is it just a hobby? Could I turn it into a business? Uh, Russell is an incredible photographer. He's like well known in Australia as one of the best photographers for big wave uh, photography. So think about like those amazing surfing photos that you see uh, where you've actually got like someone, some photographer, like in the actual wave itself taking the photo like that is Russell, that's what he does. Um, but the challenge he had was that while he gets paid good money for doing it, it's whenever there's a documentary that comes along that he actually ends up getting paid. And otherwise it's like, well, you know, I have to wait for the next uh, big documentary to come along. Now hustle would be where Catherine goes, okay, I'm just gonna keep on working real hard at the thing I wanna do, which is the whole tarot card reading. And hopefully by just continuing to work hard, uh, I'll figure out a way to make this work. Hustle is Russell continuing to go out there and like working hard to get his name out there for the top documentaries that come his way. Flow is quite different. What actually happened was when I started working with Catherine and Russell, the first question was, what's the real value that you really can leverage, like within your time? In Russell's case, it was the fact, not just that he's good at photography, it's the fact that he uh, is able to teach it to others as well, which he wasn't actually doing. And so he said, well, how could you actually make money from that without having to wait for a documentary? And the answer, was to set up some really cool like uh, surf camps where he was able to teach people photography. They would pay to come along on his program. He'd bring along some celebrity surfers uh, and everyone would actually leave with the same expertise or a level of expertise that he could teach in how you do big wave photography. And he's now doing those all over the world. In Catherine's case, it was about saying, well, I'm really good at actually tuning in to people's future. Tarot card reading is only a particular type of person who believes in that. But we within uh, Wealth Dynamics have got something 
called the Wealth Dynamic Vector Cards, and they're really incredible in terms of entrepreneurs finding a way to be able to use those cards to tune into whatever their Wealth Dynamics profile is and how a creator might work together with a star or with an accumulator, but no one is really doing a lot with those cards, uh, and I was too busy to be doing much with it either as well. So Catherine said, what if I attach to your flow? What if we use those cards? Uh, and I actually went out and shared with people how they can use them more effectively to build their teams, to be able to plan their future. And I said, absolutely, you should do that. So she created the Wealth Vector System where she now is coaching and mentoring entrepreneurs all over the world using these tools, tapping into where there's already flow and then creating flow from there as well. Both of them are now doing so much better than before financially and also just in terms of the way they're actually now building their business as well. And it was by working smart more than working hard. It was about following the flow as opposed to trying to create the flow for yourself as well. So how could you do that for yourself? Uh, would you rather go for the hustle where you're just working hard hoping that's gonna get you to where you wanna to get to? Or would you rather find a way to use that hustle when you need to for a small amount of time, but really start looking for where that wave is, where the flow's already there, which allows you to then be able to then tune in to that flow as well. Have a look around here, right? Like here we are, I've just been walking around uh, LAX here. See all these cars here? right there's they're hustling they're, they're the amount of hustle that goes on in los angeles but the amount of traffic jams that take place here as well because everyone's thinking about how to get somewhere as opposed to a smarter way to be able to get there in the first place uh you know if you start thinking about a place like los angeles compared to let's say singapore where there are so few traffic jams compared to los angeles because everyone was first of all thinking about what's a smarter way to be able to actually create a system that allows you to have flow wherever you go as well. What would be different in your life if you started thinking in that way? And how would your business be different if you were constantly tuning to flow and then all your efforts were not efforts in terms of pushing yourself to move forward because you're already getting pulled by the wave or your efforts were simply about staying on the wave. So there is a thought for you on our very, very first of our uh, videos for this year. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Do post below your thoughts around hustle or flow because uh, I know there's many, many different perspectives and you may have a totally different one. Uh, so do post that below. If you're coming along for our Los Angeles event, to our San Diego event, uh, to our Mexico City event when I go back to Mexico or even to our Seattle event, which is at the end of January. Look forward to seeing you there and I will catch up with you on our next video.